Hi, it's been a long time since I uploaded a new video in my channel. Anyway, today I'm going to start a new topic from AFM that is Advanced Financial Management. Uh, I'm talking about uh, foreign exchange risk exposure. This video will be useful for ACCA, CMA final year students. And if you're pursuing your MBA with International Finance Specialization, definitely it's going to be beneficial for you, especially for a quick recap before your exam. First of all, I would like to talk about foreign exchange risk. What do you mean by an exchange risk? It's uh, due to fluctuation in the rate of exchange in conversion of one currency into another. That is exchange risk simply means the risk associated with the rate at which one currency is exchanged for another. It is a possibility of loss on account of unfavorable movement in foreign exchange rate. You might be learned about various types of risk. For example, systematic risk is or market risk, interest rate risk, legal risk, operation risk and counterparty risk is or and what you mean by exchange exposure? So, you know, foreign exchange markets are very sensitive. Uh, why? Because foreign exchange markets are influenced by developments in economic, political, social and financial factors among the countries. So, as changes occur in these factors, that is, this economic, political and social conditions in foreign exchange markets, the exchange rates change. Foreign exchange rates never remains constant. That is, the changes in foreign exchange rates affects not only firms engaged in international business, but also those engaged in domestic business. So, it is very volatile. A change in the exchange rate may bring about a change in the value of an asset, liability and operating income. This is known as foreign exchange exposure. So, let us talk about the various kinds of forex risk, that is foreign exchange risk. That's what I want to discuss in this video. Actually, firms may be exposed to three types of foreign exchange risk. First one, transaction risk. Secondly, economic risk. And third one, translation risk. Okay, let's see what is transaction risk or uh, transaction exposure. Sometimes it's called conversion exposure. It is the risk that the current exchange rate will fluctuate after a firm has already undertaken a financial obligation. For example, a buyer agrees to buy the product using foreign currency. The risk comes if that currency should appreciate. Uh, then what would be the result? Ultimately, the buyer has to spend more than they had budgeted for the goods, right? Okay, I will tell you an example. Suppose an Indian company purchased a machine from US firm at US dollar 1000 in June. At that time, the foreign exchange rate was rupees 70 per US dollar. The payment term stated payment in August. And at the date of payment, the exchange rate changed to rupees 75 per US dollar. That is in August, the exchange rate is changed to rupees 75 per US dollar. Okay. So, what would be the ultimate result? For the buyer, the value at the time of buying was uh, only 70,000 that is 1,000 into 70 and at the time of payment become due, uh, it is 75,000 that is 1,000 into 75. So, it become costly by rupees 5,000. For the seller, there is no impact but for the buyer, the risk of losing an additional 5,000 that can be termed as transaction exposure. Okay. Actually, there are various methods and techniques of uh, managing transaction exposure that is uh, through forward contracts, futures contract, money market hedges, futures, forex swaps, currency swaps, currency options. All these are various measures for dealing with this um, foreign exchange risk. So, I will explain these things in another video. Okay? So, ultimately, what do you understand by this term transaction risk? It is the risk of an exchange rate changing between the transaction date and the subsequent settlement date on an individual transaction. That is, it is the gain or loss arising on conversion. It is associated with exports or imports. Hope you clear with this concept transaction risk. So, this transaction exposure focuses on uh, relatively short term cash flow effects. 
why that is this type of risk is primarily associated with imports and exports that is if a company exports goods on credit then it has a figure for debtors in its accounts so the amount it will finally receive depends on the foreign exchange movement from the transaction date to the settlement date okay so transaction risk has a potential impact on the cash flows of a company that is short term cash flows okay so let's talk about another uh, second type of risk that is uh, economic risk let's move on to the next topic that is economic risk it includes the longer term effects of changes in exchange rates on the market value of a company while speaking in a subject of mind language uh, we can say economic risk basically means a change in the present value of the future after tax cash flows due to changes in exchange rates so economic exposure is also called operating exposure it's caused by the effect of unpredicted volatility or we can say unexpected currency fluctuations on a company's future cash flows so it can result in serious negative consequences for company's operations and profitability up to a certain extent we can say globalization is one of the factors for operating exposure because uh, many firms are facing an international competition nowadays due to this uh, globalization so the fluctuation in the exchange rates shall alter the competitive position of the firms in domestic market as well as foreign market so ultimately this will affect their operating cash flows uh, that is known as operating exposure even if the firm may not have any transaction in foreign currency this operating exposure will happen why because okay i will tell you an example uh, suppose an indian firm uh, has no transaction in foreign exchange that is no export no import but its competitor firm that imports its major raw material from japan okay so the firm is exposed to operating exposure that is if yen that is the japanese yen depreciates against rupee then imports from japan will become cheaper so this benefit can be passed on the customers that is competitors price become cheaper thereby directly affecting the market share of the firm in short what happens changes in exchange rate affect the company's competitive position in the market this affects the company's profit this is known as operating exposure okay one more thing is there Uh, that is when companies borrow in a foreign currency they are committing themselves to regular interest payments and principal repayments they are exposing themselves to foreign risk right so this is the problem uh, that beset a number of eastern companies in the late 1990s they had borrowed in us dollars or british pounds this becomes a serious problem when their currency depreciated and the loan repayments become much more expensive of course if your firm takes out a loan in dollars and your home currency appreciate against the dollar the loan repayments become cheaper okay there is also a number of techniques and different strategies for um, dealing with this operating exposure uh, there will be a lot of marketing strategies that is protect strategy pricing strategy promotional strategy and diversification of the market and the strategies we can deal in another video okay third one is translation exposure or translation risk uh this means how changes in exchange rates affect the translated value of foreign assets and liabilities okay that is um, uh you know all items in the financial statements of a foreign subsidiary have to be translated into the home currency for the purpose of finalizing the accounts of uh, a given period so translation exposure occurs when companies translate financial statements from a foreign currency to their home currency the need for the translation uh, arises at the time of consolidation that is the financial statements of overseas subsidiaries um that is statement of financial position and statement of other comprehensive income it's usually translated into home currency uh because they can be consolidated into the group financial statement okay so uh, the reported performance of an overseas subsidiary in home based currency um it can be severely distorted if there has been any significant foreign exchange movement for example um uh, say 
if the exchange rate is given by dollar uh, one equal to euro one, and an American subsidiary is worth dollar uh, five lakh, okay, then the UK parent company will anticipate a statement of financial position sheet value of uh, euro five lakh for the subsidiary. So a depreciation of the US dollar to um, uh, dollar two equals euro 1 it would result in only euro 250000 being translated okay so whenever the parent firm tries to consolidate the position of subsidiaries in their books the translation exposure comes into existence it's also known as accounting exposure and also balance sheet exposure one more point is there that is translation exposure measures impact of changes in foreign currency exchange rates on the value of assets and liabilities that is it uh, indicates clearly that pre existing assets and liabilities values change on account of change in foreign currency exchange rate for example an indian company has a subsidiary in new york the subsidiary's assets are worth 1 million us dollars okay so for the purpose of reporting and consolidation the subsidiary's assets are shown in the parent's company's balance sheet in rupees when the exchange rate changes the value of assets and liabilities change so this lead to loss or gain this is known as translation exposure okay friends i hope you understood these concepts and one more thing that is some of the comments i noted there was a demand for uh, videos on derivatives and portfolio management definitely i will upload okay thank you for watching